I'm here to do a VR for my friend Aristi's challenge and I've done a wall hanging Aristi, I hope you like it so I've started off with this cloth a crochet little tablecloth and then on top of that I'll put this one over here and then I'll put this picture which was printed on parchment paper and to protect it I lightly coated it with the Martha Stewart sealer it's just a tip if you haven't got a fabric image and you're using paper uh, just to seal it so it protects it if any water splashes on it it won't um, leave like a water stain on it because it's um, sealed with Mudge Podge is good or decoupage glue and seal um, so then after that I went around it I framed it with this trim which I think I got off a pillowcase or something like that or I'm not sure um, then after that I I was actually a bit short I couldn't go all the way around so I thought I'd hide it by putting a flower there because I thought well I want to put a flower there anyway um, so I put a big piece of uh, doily all around there and then I, I had this trim and I kind of folded it over and put that around then I put some vintage seam binding around that this is a flower that I've taken apart I put that there then I put a doily here and here I used I made this like a year and a half ago and um, looks just perfect for that so I'll put that in and for the leaves I've got some tea dyed trim I mean I think this is tresses uh, yeah to make it look like the leaves um, all the and all around here I've put these pearls uh, they kind of sit right in there and I put this gorgeous gold uh, applique over here on the top and I've just rolled that over on a, a stick or um, I think they're called drawings so there was just enough room on the sides to tie the seam binding on each side so after I rolled it over and I hot glued it and then I tied this seam binding and to get that crinkle look I didn't even wet it like I just scrunched it up with my hand but I didn't want this part looking scrunchy I left that I just wanted these parts here really and I might still put something on the sides there I'm not sure um, and the bottom here I've I started with what I start with oh yeah I put this trim from my store lovely vintage tassel trim then I put this lovely gold one which accents the lovely seam binding and the tea dye colours and that kind of adds to the vintage um, and, the, and, the, and the kind of yellowy of, of the picture let's see so I've put that um, then I've put this tea dyed lace under there and then under that I've put another tea dyed lace that came off from a hat I think and also this lovely champagne coloured trim as well um, also this has been tea dyed and I've put that on top and put this flat back trim in the middle there so yeah that is um, my entry to um, Aristi's um, challenge and she's giving away three prizes and um, yeah I think she said you can make anything and this is back um, the back doesn't need to be flashed up because it's going to be put on the wall um, so yeah I will send this off with um, your guest design team package um, I'll be sending a wristy um, 
my Pion papers and I think she says she's going to do many of them so I can't wait, that should be great um, I'll probably post this off in another week with with um, those papers so I'll put the link below to a challenge so please go on over and, and check out the challenge and um, yeah do the challenge thanks all bye